Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through my body scan results from the past five weeks. So yeah, um, five weeks ago I had a body scan and I had set some goals for myself. I wanted to build some lean muscle mass, get fitter, get stronger and slowly reduce body fat over time. And I have the results here with me. So. In the past five weeks, um, I'm going to go through all of the results with you right now and just let you know what has happened and why and then my plan moving forward. So, um, my first scan was for my body weight, 59 kilos, uh, and now my body weight is 58.7. So, I have lost 300 grams of body weight in five weeks. Now, there will be some difficulty with knowing the accuracy of this body scan because I shouldn't have done the scans five weeks apart due to my cycle. As you guys might know by now, if you've been watching my other videos, I do have really um, pretty hectic menstrual cycles and symptoms that pop up from that. So moving forward, I will do my scans the same time of the month each month, just to ensure that um, I'm not, you know, holding on to heaps of water or heavier than normal. So my body weight went down by 300 grams. Now this is why it's really important to know that just <laughs> the washing machine is so loud. I'm just going to go and shut the door. <gasps> okay, that's a bit better. So this is why it's really important to understand that the scales won't tell you everything that you need to know. I think if I had have just got on the scales and saw that I'd lost 300 grams, I would presume that it was all body fat considering the exercises that I've been doing, but that was not the case. What happened was I did lose muscle. Pretty annoying considering that my goal was to gain lean muscle and to increase my BMR. So I am a little bit disappointed um, and I know exactly what has happened. So I will explain all that to you guys. Basically, upon reading my body scan, I'll keep going through the results and then I'll talk to you about it. So my lean body mass went from 42.6 down to 42.5. So I lost 100 grams of muscle, lean muscle mass, uh, which is really not a big deal. It's almost like nothing really has changed <laughs> in a way. Um, and I know I can get that back and keep moving forward. My body fat mass went down from 16.4 to 16.2. So I lost 200 grams of body fat, 100 grams of lean mass. My visceral fats stayed the same. My body fat percentage went from 27.8% to 27.6%. My BMR went from 1290 down to 1288. So a little bit disappointing because my original goal was to get fitter, stronger and to increase my BMR with lean body mass. But it does prove to me that, you know, we can think that we're doing all the right things, but potentially if we don't have enough of a plan, that may not be the case. So I had two whole weeks throughout this five week um, period that were really tough. Um, obviously physically on my body going through my hormonal cycle. So I had two lots of PMS in this time and during that PMS time, I was really inactive. I didn't want to, you know, exercise. I didn't want to eat protein. I just wanted to eat carbs and fats like all women at this time or most women at this time and just really cocoon in my dressing gown, which is what I did. 
So that left me with about three strong weeks. And in those three weeks, I did some resistance sessions. I did Pilates and I did a couple of runs here and there. But to be honest, I know that I probably wasn't working as hard as I know that I can in the gym. So, uh, you know, just taking a little bit easy on myself and not challenging myself with my weights because I've just started this, this program. I kind of wanted to do the best with my form, doing all of my exercises and not worry too much about weight on, on the, um, barbell and all that kind of stuff. So moving forward, I will try to push myself a little bit more in the gym. Um, another thing with my nutrition, I was focusing throughout the past five weeks on just eating as much as I needed, as much as I wanted, and just listening to my, my cues. Uh, and that worked well. Like I, I was definitely at maintenance or, which is really good to know that my body is just comfortably sitting at maintenance, minus 300 grams. So I must have been just a little bit, a tiny little bit in a deficit over those five weeks, which is totally fine. I did say I wanted to lose the body fat that slowly. Um, I just want to really hold on to my lean muscle mass. So what I'm doing moving forward is ensuring that I do eat enough protein. I was eyeballing things and just thinking, oh, this has a bit of protein in it. But when you track everything or you log everything in a diary, you can see, well, that's only 60 grams of protein. And my goal is, you know, 120, 130. So I need to eat more than that. So that is my goal moving forward. I have definitely uh, figured out what I need to do moving forward. And my plan is just to stay consistent like I am, keep eating the same amount of food, except I want to probably transfer more of the calories into protein for myself. Um, and it just goes to show that building muscle for women, especially is not as easy as we think. We think when we pick up a dumbbell, we're gonna like get um, really muscular. Um, but unfortunately, as you can see, that's not how it works. All right, so that's basically it. Moving forward, my goal is to get my lean body mass in one month, my lean body mass back up to 42.6 or higher. My um, body weight, I'm like happy for it to stay the same, but I would like my visceral fats to come down, so the fats that are in my belly and around my vital organs. I would like that to come down. Originally last year in, in 2019, I was at level four and now I'm at level six, which just goes to show like stress and what the impacts are on the body. So I'd like to get that to come back down. It would be awesome if it could. And I would love my BMR to go up, back up to 1290 or higher. That would be awesome. And yeah. That is basically everything. I'm not worried too much about my body fat percentage. I just want to get stronger. So yeah, we'll see you guys one more month and I will update you guys on the results then. Thanks for watching anyway, and I will see you in the next video next week. Bye bye.